hi today we are going to see about the stack in data structure what do you mean by stack in general we can tell uh, the meaning of stack is a pile of objects or we can tell uh, objects which is arranged one on top of another here i have shown you a picture of stack like just we are arranging the objects one on top of the other similarly in stack data structure we are going to arrange the data or information or elements one on another just to consider like a container we are going to arrange the data in the container one by one so we will see the definition what is stack stack is a linear data structure Uh, in which the insertion and the deletion both operation will be performed at only one end which is the top of the stack so here the new element will be added in the stack from one end at the same end the element will be removed so that position we are insisting as a top of the stack so we are telling this stack concept as last in first out or first in last out you can tell it in any way where which element has been entered at the last that element will be removed first so we can tell which element has entered as entered at the last that element will be removed first so you can tell last in first out or first in last out whereas in queue if you see it will be the first in first out or last in last out so this is the major difference between the stack and the queue in queue there are two ends one is the front end and another one is the rear end in stack there is only one end where you can enter the data and where you can delete the data so in stack there are two important functions one is insertion where we are using the push function to insert the data in the stack here i am showing the picture for uh, stack just consider like a container just you are pushing an element here this will be called push function for inserting a data in the stack for deleting a data from the stack the function which will be used is pop so two important functions in the stack is push function and a pop function so to make you more clear i have given a picture of stack of books so just to consider these books or the uh, information in the data structure so one on top of the other so here you can just access the top book first the rest of the books you can access only when there is no book on top if you remove the first book then only you can be able to access the third one if you remove the third one then only you can be able to access the second one so the bottom of the stack is only accessible when there is no books on top of it so this position will be top of the stack where you can add the data and where you can remove the data so this is a very very important position in the stack so when you are adding a book that time we are telling we have to use the push function when you are uh, removing the book we have to tell that we have to use the pop function i have given as a book just you consider it as a information or a element in the stack i have shown another example just you create the empty empty stack in that you just insert the number 1 so pu with the push operation then again you are inserting the number 2 in the stack again push operation if you want to remove the number 2 then you have to remove it it will be the function of pop okay uh, when one is inserted that time one will be the top of the stack when two is inserted then two will be the top of the stack when two is removed again one will be the top of the stack so another example i have given create a stack by inserting numbers of 10 45 12 16 35 and 50 so first element is 10 so it has been inserted it will be at the bottom this 10 will be 
accessed only when there is no elements on the ten or top of the ten. Okay, when fifty is inserted, it will be the top of the element. When thirty-five is inserted, that will be the top of the element. So the topmost element right now is fifty. So how you can implement the stacks? Generally, we have seen implementation of Q in two methods. Here also the same. First method is using array. Second method is using linked list. The concept is same. If you are using an array, implementation of uh, uh, sorry, if you are using an array, you can use the number of element. Uh, you can use it for only uh, specified number of elements. Mean which means in the beginning of the creation of the stack itself, you should know the amount of data. Amount of data to be created. Okay. Whereas in linked list, it will be an uh, dynamic. If you want to create, uh, means if you want to add the element, you can add it dynamically, or if you want to delete the element, you can delete it. But with implementing stack implementing with usage of array, it will be for the fixed number of elements. So uh, amount of data. Must be specified at the beginning of the implementation of the stack itself. Generally, we are creating an array with one-dimensional array only. Uh, example, we can say I am just giving an example only for uh, linked list only because array is very simple. Here in linked list, uh, one important thing is there uh, when you are creating a stack with the implementation of linked list, the first element which Here I have given twenty-five is the first element with null address field. I will tell you why it is null. Twenty-five is the first element which I have inserted. Then thirty-two is the second element where this thirty-two.